Hi there, this is Dr. Mort Orman, and welcome to another episode of Storytime. Storytime is where we shine the light on certain stories that we tell ourselves that aren't really true and therefore contribute to our stress. Now, in a previous episode, I shared a very broad and common story that we tell ourselves, a story of scarcity, when in fact we're living in a world that's full and full of abundance. Well, today I want to focus on another similarly broad story that we tell ourselves. And this is the story of certainty, when in fact we're living in a world that's full of nothing but uncertainty. And uncertainty is something that makes us very, very uncomfortable. It makes us very anxious. And particularly when there are things we want to know about or things we want to do or make decisions or take actions, we really feel we need certainty. And when we're uncertain, it's very uncomfortable. And we need to relieve that discomfort. I'll wait for this truck to pass so you can hear what I'm saying. There it goes. <laughs> A little louder than usual today. But getting back to the point, we crave certainty. We absolutely crave it. We have to have it. It's a need. It's a basic human need. Very, very powerful. Now, one of the areas in which we really crave certainty is regarding our health and our, and our well-being. And as a physician, I know this very well. I know the perception that people have uh, and the needs that people have and the fact that they believe that, for example, doctors have a lot of certainty about health and disease and, and treatments and cures and things like that. And the reason they believe that is because they need to believe it, because we're so terrified when we get sick that we absolutely have to have certainty. And people in a distorted manner tell themselves a story that doctors have certainty or some other, maybe it's an alternative practitioner, has certainty about what is, is really going on and what the proper response is or proper action is. Well, the truth is there's not a lot of certainty in any healthcare field. Even modern medicine, even scientifically based, evidence-based medicine, there's a tremendous amount of uncertainty. And that's one of the things that we physicians have to struggle with all the time. And we usually don't, we're not transparent about it, we usually don't talk about it with the general public because it freaks them out so much. You know, if we really told you how uncertain things are, um, we would lose some of our therapeutic capabilities and our, and our trust and our respect. But the fact is, that stories about certainty that we tell ourselves about healthcare and about lots of other things. It doesn't matter whether it's healthcare, it's anything that we desperately want to know what the answer is, we got to have an answer. And one of the interesting things about human beings is we need the answer. We will get an answer. We need that answer to relieve that anxiety. And it doesn't matter if the answer is false or not completely true. That's not what's important. What's important is that it relieves our anxiety so we can live under the illusion that we have certainty when in fact we rarely do, okay? So this is a story that we tell ourselves and it's really lots of different stories we tell ourselves. We actually think it's possible or that many people have certain knowledge when in fact they don't. And sometimes you can position yourself as an expert by pretending to have certain knowledge that you don't really have and that goes on all the time and people get frequently disappointed because they find out that the answers that they were given that people promised uh, were backed up by certainty are, are really not. So there's a tremendous story that we tell ourselves all the time. The truth about life is that things are very uncertain. We don't have good, a good grasp of what's really going on. And in some areas we can get close, in some areas we can make good predictions, we can make good choices based on the uncertain or unconfirmed knowledge that we have, but it's important to realize that we're constantly telling ourselves this story of certainty while living in a very uncertain, scary state of being. This is Dr. Orman. Talk to you next time.